I never thought I'd say this, but I need a break from reviewing Spider-Man figures. Let's go. Geeks was popping Marvel Legends series. 60 amazing years of Spider-Man. Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. Somehow, believe it or not, I canceled my pre-order for this by mistake. I don't know what I was doing. I usually order from multiple places, then when it ships from somewhere, I cancel it. I was wondering where it was, because I saw everybody else on that was getting it. I checked all three of my pre-orders, I canceled them. I don't know what I was thinking. Luckily, I found it locally today, so I was able to get this review up before it gets too old. All right, let's check out the cardboard box. No bio. Code in case you need it. Accessories. All right, so we got some gripping hands, which is odd for Spidey, but I like. And then we got his underarm webs. So this is for when his arms are lifted and flying or floating or whatever. And this is for when his arms are down. And here's Spidey. Let's go ahead and take a moment to bask in all of his first appearance glory. Right off the bat, not a fan of these underarm things. They don't really stay in and they look funny from the back. So the QC on this guy is awful. I'm very disappointed. You know how I get when I'm mad, my reviews get shorter. Look at his arm. Lines are rubbed off. This is brand new out of the package. I bust the tape and I got it from a local store I trust so I know it's not used. But his lines are rubbed off. Paint straight everywhere look at his boot you can see black specks and smudges everywhere there are pieces of plastic hanging off where was it on his leg yeah look right there you see that piece of plastic hanging off there and one or the other but all together you know, it's bothersome it's annoying I do like the look of his boots I like the wide webs but come on do better look plastic hanging off at his shoulder no bueno. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I don't know if I'll be able to swap it out or not. All right, 360 at the head, tilt left, tilt right. Shoulders not go up as high as you would think they would, even though he has butterfly joints. Hug range. Wingspan is good. Double jointed pinless elbows. Almost didn't even notice they're pinless because I was so mad about Deco. Give you great range. 360 at the arm, intermittent clicks. 360 at the bicep. 360 at the wrist. Vertical hinges, repulsive blast. Kiss the ring. Half crunch is shallow. Doesn't lean back much either. He can lean with it. He can rock with it. He can roll all around. 360, intermittent clicks. Nothing at the waist. He does bend at the waist though. And he does lean back at the waist, so I guess that makes up for the crunch or lack thereof. Good bend over. Great kick, good split. Rob Van Damage is in the house. 360 the thigh, 360 the calf. Ooh, uh, 360 at the foot. Oh yeah, it's a little bit tight. All right, there we go. 360 at the footsie. Feet are on rockers. Pinless double jointed knee. Prancer. Dancer. 
Can't believe he comes with a web swinging hand. Pretty awesome. He's giving you six inches of raw spider power. There he is next to his bad deco buddy. Japanese Spidey. Perfect Spidey. And of course, Iron Spidey. I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna render my verdict. Listen! I almost threw away his spider web. I keep doing that with these new packages. I should like him, I would like him, but I can't get past the deco. It, it's really bad. Now, Future Foundation Spidey had some misaligned paint, but the chunks of plastic hanging off here and the missing web lines, that's just unacceptable. Now, the articulation is good, not as good as the Retro Spidey or the new two-pack Renew Your Vows Spidey, but he's a Spidey. Now, if you're not somebody who has to have every Marvel Legends Spider-Man, and you have one of those two, I'd say this one, you could probably pass on it. I mean, it's good, but it's not so good that you gotta go out your way to get it, especially for the price, because depending on where you get this from, this thing's 28, 29, $30. And if the deco is like that on all of them, miss me with that. Hopefully I'll be able to get an exchange for my local shop. If not, I'm gonna call Hasbro Pulse, but it's just unacceptable that I have this on my shelf with paint missing out in the package. Anyway, let me know what you think. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. I hope this quick review helps. Until next time, geek out.